Here is Danny and today in this video I will tell you how to unlock the Edolon skin and get the first ending of the Babel staircase easter egg in Battlefield 5. For this you need 3 friends. If you don't have any, I'm sorry. But luckily there is the Battlefield easter egg discord where you can ask for help and maybe you will find a new friend there as well. And the Battlefield easter egg community also has the entire route mapped out for you. All you need to do is follow it. If you have an extra friend, he can be your co-driver, telling you the directions. 158 left, barbed wire, don't cut. Or put the dock on a second screen, laptop or even on your phone. To start off with the challenge, you need to actually unlock it first. Anywhere in the game menu, you can spell the word teeth in Morse. So hold an arrow up for a second, then press it three times quickly, and then hold it up for a second another time. It can be done with a keyboard and a controller. If done, you should hear a sound and the challenge will be ready for you in the combined arms section. Then get your party of four together and go in. I would recommend a team of at least two supports and at least one medic, more so is better. The supports should have an AT grenade pistol, an ammo crate, not a pouch, and an extended mag Lewis gun. Lots of bullets to shoot for you, but no mandatory MMG bipods. Medics can have the trombone C not to clear the barbed wire, or something with a lot of bullets for that last minute V1 duty. Having AP mines can also be very useful to check where the invisible platform stops. More about that later. Also find two players who are good in taking off and jumping out of planes. Once everything is selected and everybody knows the roles, you can start. First you have to find the gnome. He can spawn on different preset locations on the map. Refer to the document on BFEE for all known locations, but if you got four people looking, you can get it quickly. <laughs> Then it is time for the big meme. Don't bother with the red flare dinos and shells, those are only there to help you find the route blind. Luckily BFEE has made a full guide on the step for step steps you have to take. The link is of course in the description and pinned in the comments. There are four towers on the map. This one where you have to build from, this one on the left of it, that one over there on the right, and this one in the back which is called the sibling tower. Which is also a very special tower because on this tower you can also build another staircase in order to get some more that you will need for later. All players have to stand on their plates until the main tower's first stair has been built, otherwise that person cannot build it. After the main tower has started building, two players will build that and the other two players should go to the special tower and build on there. The sibling tower will crumble faster so you need at least two players, but it also builds a little bit faster. If you started building and it crumbles, don't worry, you can rebuild again. And even better, it will save the build progress of the platform that you failed. Nice. The directions for the smarter tower are of course on the BFEE dock, but it is basically go left a bunch of times and then follow where the gnome spawns in the sky. One player can pick up the headphones that are on the platform. It should give you a message, echo of the things to come, and he should go to the MCOM in the tower that is near the bridge. That player will get 5 letter Morse consisting out of a T and an E. He should also write it down. If you are on PC you can put it in the chat for everyone to read. The other player who didn't get the headphones can go to the big tower now. For that you need to get a plane and fly over it. If you flip your plane upside down you won't have the animation to get out. So it will be a bit easier, not that this step will ever be easy. There is an unlimited amount of planes as long as the plane crashes inside the playable area. So try not to fly them over the ocean. If the Morse person has his Morse, he can also try to get up. Meanwhile, the other team is hopefully still building the tower while it keeps crumbling. At 300 or so meter, the V1s are coming. You see red flares coming from the sky. 
but don't be too bothered, you can outbuild them easily with 4 men. At 1034 meter you need to shoot them however, because else you die. If you see barbed wire along the way, shoot the wooden plate with your grenade pistol. Or use the alternative fire of the Tromboncino. On 747 meter you find the Lion's Leap. There is a quickly crumbling platform you can build. If you play it safe, build it, get two players on it and let them quickly build the stairs on the other side. Or get all four players on the small platform and build your way past it. Don't forget to jump, else you fall. On 947 meter you encounter your first fire. Luckily you brought medics. If you crouch or go prone you take less damage. On top of the stairs itself there is also a chance of not taking any new damage anymore. But in most cases people can stay under at the stairs. But like always be aware of the V1s that are coming for you. You will encounter these a lot more across your path so train the most effective ways that work for you. At level 1373 you reach the paradise level. And it is a bit more laid back because the stairs don't crumble anymore, lovely. However there are still more trials along the way. On 1550 meter you will find the Lehova stones. No idea who named them, to get across that you need the Morse from the sibling tower. So I hope you still have it around. Use this map to get across, left is an E and the right stone is a T. So if your Morse started off with a T, then take the right platform. If it is another T, take the platform on the left. Or if it is an E, go right again. If you do it wrong, everything will crumble which is bad. But if you manage to parachute back to the platform, you can slowly rebuild it all. Get across the path towards the lines to be safe. You can hear seagulls squawk the battlefield team. More of the same traps repeat, nothing special, you are a pro now, right? And at 1546 meter there is a new challenge. If you have gotten all ammo boxes, you can see a map setting the stones. And if you haven't gotten them all, this is what it would have looked like. Three stones straight ahead, one to the left at the second stone. Those will show you the way on how to get past the invisible path. On the right hand side of the platform you can see a little golden cup. That is the side you need to go. There is the straight invisible path. Use your AP mines to see where the path stops. You can also throw ammo boxes around to see what is solid. Also take your time and shoot the V1s if they come. Nothing will crumble but you don't want to get knocked off now. On the left side you can see another gnome and this is where you can build a staircase. Climb on it and you will be safe once again. Now you are in the final stretch. There is more quickly crumbling platforms you have to build with all 4 people. Luckily the gnome will once again lead the way. Or use the battlefield easter egg document of course. At the lions there is another crumbling platform and barbed wire stairs. Keep following the dock and on 1576 meter you have reached the end. Build the 4 stairs in each direction, get a player on every platform near the monkey and build the glass. The firmament falls, explosions happen and you will win.
spawns, green has confetti, and if you go back to the armory, you will see your new Eidolon skin. There is a second ending, but we haven't found that one yet. So yeah, I hope you got it. All footage in this video is by me, Matafar and Montwix. But hey, that is all I got for now. Subscribe for more. This was Danny and I see you on the battlefield.